Welcome to Mahjong Central. My name is Michelle. I'm going to do some Charleston modeling for American style using National Mahjong League rules. If you don't know how to play by these rules yet, there's a link below the video to the lesson playlist. Look for the words show more, click that, and it'll open up the video description where you can find that link. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider clicking subscribe and then click that bell so that you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any opportunities to learn a new strategy or maybe gain an insight into the game that'll give you an advantage at the table. Let's do some Charleston Force. Here I have strips, one for every category on the card. We're gonna pick three random strips and force a hand in those categories. This is great practice if you play in tournaments or if you play in events where they have prizes. Sometimes there's a prize for a specific hand. Sometimes there's a prize for the first hand in a category. So this is a really great way to practice. You might even come home with a prize. So let's pick three random strips. Two, four, six, eight. 369 consecutive run. Those are the three we're going to shoot for. We're going to make them work. We'll just say that we're the dealer. So we'll take 14 random tiles and create a mock Charleston. This is just an exercise, it is not an exact science. So you may get tiles in here that you wouldn't normally get in a Charleston, but I'll tell you something. I've gotten some pretty crazy passes before, including pairs of flowers. So there's nothing new under the sun. Okay, let's see what we can do with this random pull. We're shooting for two, four, six, eight, three, six, nine, and consecutive run. Okay, two, four, six, eight, three, six, nine, consecutive run. We do have a pair of sixes, and there's a lot of two, four, six, eight. We don't even have any gaps. Let's do a two, four, six, eight hand. So we'll just pull all the two, four, six, eights and focus on those. Two, four, six, eight. And at this point, don't pick a hand. You don't have to, not until you run out of discards. When you run out of discards, that's when you pick a hand. So we're just going to play the two, four, six, eight category, and we're going to throw these tiles here. So let's throw these three. Put the joker back if you happen to get any jokers. We got a green. Let's keep that because there is one hand in the two, four, six, eight category with dragons. Let's throw these three. Get rid of that joker. There's a six. And we have tiles we can pass. We still don't have to pick a hand. There's a two. Now we have two tiles to pass. This is when you pick a hand, when you run out of discards. We can only pass two, so we have to pick a hand. If we play around the multiples, here we have two, six, six, so we can't use all of them. One of these is probably going to end up being joker bait. Maybe we could play two, four, four, six, eight. I would hold this two here. Let's break up the dragon. The dragon hand is two, four, and one suit, four, six, and a second suit. I'm sorry, two, four, and one suit, six, eight, and a second suit with opposite dragon. We could potentially do that. Two, four, six, eight dragons. Two, four, six, eight dragons. But we would have two multiples to get rid of. I think if we went with another two, four, six, eight option, two, four, four, six, eight, 
we would only be giving up one multiple. Well, two. Either way, we're going to have to give up two multiples. Let's break up the green and keep options. Lots of options. Okay, no discards there. Are no, no keepers. No keepers with that one. Let's pass these. There's a keeper. We have tiles to pass, so we still don't have to focus on a hand yet. Let's throw these. That's a little risky because they're all odd, but we're honing in on our hand. I think it's worth the risk. No keepers. Let's throw these for a full optional cross. So we have three discards. Three discards to get to all two, four, six, eight. And technically you don't have to pick a hand, not even yet, uh, because we have three discards. But if I had to pick a hand, I'd probably play two, four, four, six, eight. So we would have five discards with Joker bait. I would hold these as long as possible though, and start there. Two, four, four, six, eight. And this would be the third hand from the bottom under two, four, six, eight. No gaps. That's why I would choose that if I had to. The other option might be the two, four, six, eight pair hand if we had flowers. So I would keep my options open and not pick a hand till I got rid of my discards. So there's our two, four, six, eight. I don't know if that would be a winner. There's a lot of discards there to work through. You'd have to draw really well. Let's do the next fourth. Okay. So we need to make a three, six, nine and a consecutive run work. So we have a joker anyway. Three, six, nine, consecutive run. Here's our multiple. That's the strength right there. Flowers, threes. We could do something consecutive maybe or a three, six, nine. Let's hold the consecutive options and we can throw these three. There's something potentially consecutive. I like to pick four numbers in a range around the multiple, in which case we need the two. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. I think that we need to give up on something. I don't think I want to pass two wins and a dragon. Let's pass these. Two, three, four, five. That's what we're focused on. Two, three, four, five. Let's keep the two. We have tiles we can pass. We don't have to pick a hand. Okay, now we're going to have to pick a hand because we have a white dragon, a nine dot, and all two, three, four, five. So if we're going to use the flowers, here we have three, four, two, three, four. Two, three, four, mix suit, Kong hand. That would be the third one down. Let's hold this for joker bait. Actually, let's go ahead and break those up because we could play two, three in dots with the white dragon. Let's break up the three, bam. Okay, there's a four and a one, one, two, we could play one, two, three, four, but we'd have to throw away the flowers. Let's try to leverage the flowers. Let's throw these away. There's a white. So I'm thinking, well, we don't have to pick a hand because we have tiles to pass. We're in between. Either two, three, four in mixed suits, Kong hand, or two, three with the dragons. Either way, we're going to ha have joker bait. Let's throw these three for the last right. There's another white and we have a four or five to pass. Let's go ahead and pass those. We'll pass one blind. 
I don't like passing white dragons. It's almost as bad as passing a flower. They're very rare and they're used two ways. Okay, so we have joke, uh, discards and joker bait. So let's just count. If we play two, three, four, this would be again the third hand down, we would have six discards. If we play two, three, white, we would have four discards and joker bait, which is six as well. But this way, we have joker bait. If anybody discards or exposes, I should say, if anybody exposes four bams with jokers, we could use these four bams to get a joker into our own hand. I think I would play two, three with the dragon. Hold these for joker bait. Hold this as long as possible because we could still play two, three, four Kongs. Get rid of these first. So there is the consecutive run hand. I would say that's going to be uh, a hand that you would have to see through. I would not call this a winner because we have six discards or four discards with joker bait. It might work. Okay, last one. We have to make a three, six, nine work. Okay, here we go. Six, nine. Jokers might help. So we do happen to have some sixes and nines. So here we have Flower, six, nine, jokers. So we have really four tiles towards three, six, nine. So let's pass one of each suit. Let's break that one up though and do that instead. Oh, there's a like number. I don't like doing that. Let's pass the south. Okay, there's a northwest seven. Let's pass a one west eight or one, one west seven. That way we're not left with uh, like numbers. So we have tiles we can pass here. We'll pass these three. There's a white, maybe we could use that. Here's a new multiple dragon. Let's pass seven, or let's pass eight nor, let's pass the seven and a two. There, let's pass these three. Mix suit, odd, even, wind. That's a really good pass, I think. Okay, we have one of each suit at this point. Let's pass these three. One of each suit, evens and an odd, and odds. There's a six. We don't have to pick a hand. We've got discards, so it doesn't even matter. You'll be wasting your energy trying to figure out what to play because you have too many discards. The hand will change after one pass. We're going to pass those. No need to pick a hand yet. There's a flower. That's good. We still have discards. So we don't have to pick a hand. Not yet. We're just picking the category. Three, six, nine. We're going to pass those three. There's a nine. And now we have an east and an eight. Now we pick a hand because we only have two discards and dragons, including a multiple and a white. Passing a white dragon is almost as bad as passing a flower. I typically tr don't want to do that. Um, so for this particular combination, the dragon has to match the suit. So this I think is going to be joker bait. We could play flowers, three, six, nine. These would be used for threes. So with this, I think we can get rid of the nine crack and pass these. I don't think there's anything in here for us but we'll just finish it up. Yeah, oh, we picked up some more joker bait though. So we have 
two sets of joker bait. We have six discards with joker bait. That's not too bad. So I would say this will be the third hand down. Two flowers, Kong of three, Kong of six, Kong of nine. Another thing that we could do is, um, no, I would stick with that. Three, six, nine. Three, six, nine. That's going to take work. All three of those, we had six discards at the end, some with joker bait though, and sometimes that joker bait really helps out. It's all about timing. If you have joker bait, try to hold it until maybe the middle of the third wall during the pick and discard phase. That's about when people start getting desperate to make their exposures and they'll put out jokers. But make sure you get rid of joker bait and risky tiles, fresh tiles, before the end of the third wall. You don't want to get stuck with joker bait and fresh tiles, flowers, or even white dragons in the fourth wall. Get rid of them during the third wall or towards the tail end of the third wall. If you want to know more about that strategy, look up the video called Strategy by Wall. It's a really great strategy inspired by Tom Sloper. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing and then click that bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any opportunities to learn a new strategy or pick up on some insights of the game that can maybe give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Force for American Style using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.